We've got another removal tonight. Um, this one's in a in a tree trunk. Um, so we're going to head out now. We're just about to pack the car, and uh, we're going to head out now. Go and check it out. I think it was a a recently landed swarm. Um, so it's pretty new. Uh, I don't know if there'll be much comb, we'll have a look. But I've got a box with a bit of comb in it, just to help them out. And um, we're going to take this one out to our, our Kailami apiary. So, yeah, that, this episode, removal from an old tree stump. Um, pretty high up, had to rent a ladder for it. And um, let's see how it goes. here at the location now quite a lot of shrubbery around so it'd be difficult to form a bit but we're going to try as much as we can um, it's an old palm tree that's basically been uh, chopped off the top the lady said it was struck by lightning so it's a dead tree we're going to cut into it and see if we can uh, basically vacuum the the bees out of that so anyway just getting all our kit out Here they are, flying in and out. They've already put quite a bit of propolis here. Closed off the entrance. Over here, small ones. Slightly bigger entrances here. It looks like they've plugged a hole at the head. So we're not sure how far up they're gonna go in the trunk. But um, we're gonna cut it first over here and then we'll be able to have a look inside and see what's going on.
Okay. So we've got it with the vacuum over there. Ethan's up in the in the ladder. He's vacuuming. Um, yeah, so I think I think we're good to go. I'm not too sure whether or not the the hive itself actually reaches all the way to the top of the where the tree lost its top. Um, we'll only know that as we cut into the tree and work our way up. Uh, we've already started to to get a bit of comb. So we've cut the hive actually down. Uh, we took it right off the tree. So you can see Ethan now is vacuuming up. It's going to be easier to work down here. Yeah? We'll get this comb out. We'll get it into that box there. Eh? We ended up cutting the trunk off where the bees were inside of. We ended up cutting its, the top of it off and we ended up cutting where the bottom was. We carried it all the way down the ladder onto the grass. Um, down there we did most of the removal just because it was a lot easier, it was a lot simpler to do it down there. With the vacuum it was a little difficult because the tree was pretty much dead. There was like no moisture left in it at all so it was pretty much falling apart as is. So as we were taking it apart, so all of like the stuff kept getting sucked into the yeah. vacuum and it made it a little difficult to get all the bees. We did what we could. We took out as much as we could, as many bees as we could get from there. There were quite, a, there were like a few odd bees left in the trunk when we were done. And so what we decided on doing is we tossed it in a few black bags and now we're just taking it through to Kyle Army we're going to put the bees into a hive over there and we're going to leave the trunk just at the base of it so um, the bees that are already in there can maybe try get up to the hive um, yeah to give them an opportunity if there's a few that are left yeah. in the trunk it's to maybe go into the hive so i think i think with this removal we had a little bit of an advantage that we could almost take the existing hive with us yeah yeah I put this hive now on top of the the bivac box. This is also part of the bivac box. This has got the base in it. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and see if the bees actually climb up. Because then I can slip this bottom piece out. So I'll leave this piece in. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one behind for now. Just let let them crawl up. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this will be a swarm that can go stronger. But we'll see how it goes. We'll monitor it. This, this was the, the, the actual tree that we cut now. I'm going to leave it out here because there was a few bees and there was also a honeycomb in there and I didn't want to leave it at the, the ladies premises because 
the, then other bees are going to come and rob it. Then I get phoned and, and said the swarm is still there and they haven't left. So I, I decided to rather bring it here. And then we can leave it here. These guys in our other hives down that side, they can rob it. And then if there's any bees left in here, then um, those guys can hopefully find their way into this hive. So we'll just leave this here. There's quite a bit of propolis on here, so there, there is going to be bees on this um, over the next couple of days because they'll be collecting all that propolis that's on there. And a big chunk of comb there, propolis on it. This is swarm number six. Swarm number six, eh? Yeah. So we've doubled up in like well, six times. Yeah. In like what? Four, or five days, eh? We've a doubled week, up. Yeah. No, I'd say a bit over a week. A bit over a week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What if we were to stop at like you know? Like McDonald's or something like that. Not McDonald's, but like just you know, get something small to eat. Just saying. does beekeeping make you hungry? Eat? Beekeeping makes me very hungry, you know. Bee removals do. Beekeeping not so much. Beekeeping is all right. There's yeah, a bee right above you. Fuck. <laughs>